What's up, Taurus? Trust yourself for guiding you towards this moon message for the waxing crescent in Scorpio. So this is covering October, I'm sorry, September 29th to October 2nd, getting ahead of myself. And we're talking about love in this reading. We're gonna see who's showing up in your love energy. So Scorpio rules the genitalia and the reproductive system. So you might be feeling a little extra horny, Taurus. So that's definitely the moon doing its thing. But someone could be feeling horny for you. That could be the energy coming in. Also, Scorpio is about death and rebirth. You know, it's kind of like a cycle shift. So that could be an energy that comes out. Let's just find out what's in the cards for you, Scorpio. Why do I want to call you Scorpio? It's because the moon is in Scorpio. Taurus. Oh my goodness. All right, Taurus. Let's see who's in your love energy. What's going on for Taurus? Ooh, you have a nine of pentacles. Yes. Virgo energy. I see you in your bag. Someone's seeing you in your bag, doing your thing, having a good time, looking good, smelling fresh, feeling nice. Love to see that energy. I feel like things are going well work-wise as well. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles is coming out. I feel like you're doing well at work and it's showing. Like, it's showing outwardly. I feel like it's showing inwardly. Like, that's why you're doing well in, like, this work scenario because Pentacle energy keeps coming out. This could be someone at work noticing you, Taurus. Um, if you're working, like, a, at some place in particular, you know, you're not working remotely or work could connect you to this person. But Page of Pentacles is definitely a crush and it's, Someone having a crush on you looking real good over here. So this is also Taurus energy, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be noticing you, but it's definitely like a mellow but solid crush. Tell me more for Taurus. Who is in their energy? The Fool Aquarius energy. So someone wanting to start something with you, someone wanting to start something new with you. I feel like they want to narrow down their options to you, Taurus with the seven of cups in reverse could be dealing with the Scorpio could be the moon's energy as well. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It seems like they're a little bit hesitant to come towards you, but they are coming towards you. It just seems like it's kind of at a snail's pace. So let's see maybe why that is why they're moving so slow. Tell me more for Taurus during the Scorpio waxing crescent. Why this person's moving a little bit slow. or anything else you wanna let me know. Okay, we have separation. So this person could have recently been separated from someone. That might be why they're moving a little bit slower. Maybe this was you and another person, although to be honest, I'm not really getting that energy. I feel like this is a new energy. I don't feel like this was you and this person that separated. I feel like this was this person and another person. So I feel like they're taking their time with things, right? They're not trying to rush things. I don't know what the hell kind of shuffle that was. All right. So Taurus, I feel like this person is, it's like they have their head on straight. They're healing properly. They're not rushing into anything, but they're definitely digging you. Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. So yeah, like I said, this person could be someone that you're working with. Maybe you're working on a specific project with them or in some way work connects you to this person. Give me more for Taurus. And I just saw 333. So I feel like for some of you, that is confirmation. Vulnerable, defenseless, unprotected, helpless. Yeah, that's kind of the energy when you're putting yourself out there, when you're being very vulnerable. It's like, you're just like, here I am. Whether or not you like it, I don't know, but I'm putting myself out there and I'm getting this energy too with the fool. So I feel like it's a little bit, um, I don't know the word. I don't want to say draining, but it's a lot for this person to kind of put themselves out there, especially right now after they've either gone through a breakup or dealt with something with someone from the past where it's made them want to go slower in relationships. They're dealing with that. So Taurus, I feel like there's a sense of patience that you have to get used to with this person because they don't want to move too fast. But at the same time, it's like, bro, let's not move at a snail's pace. Give me something else for Taurus. What do they need to see through the charms? with this person. Choose happy. I love it. And I feel like this person's choosing happy. They're choosing to be joyful every day, despite all the bullshit they've been put through with past experiences. And because of that, that happiness is leading to you. And it could be through work, right? Not everybody hates their job. So let's get more for Taurus and this person. Saturn and Cancer. So that's really interesting because Cancer is the mother. Saturn rules over Capricorn, which is the father. 
So there's a sense of balance here, mommy, daddy energy. In the 10th house, which is associated with Capricorn, so this is again the father energy, I feel like there's like a father-mother balance here and the father's kind of taking over, right? I feel like this person is gonna come in, they are gonna come to you, they are gonna be man enough to come to you, whether or not you're a man or woman, doesn't matter, they're coming to you. Um, but I feel like they want a sense of structure with it, right? That's also structure, ambition, hardworking energy. It's like kind of working on you, working on them and making sure that they're right before they come to you. So it's a very healthy energy, Taurus, and I like to see that. So I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will definitely catch you in the next Moon Phase reading very soon.